All right, a pause in the action on the Eric St. Show podcast to talk about Factor. Okay, there was a time not that long ago where I would spend a lot of time on, let's say, a Sunday, like hours, getting food ready for the week, prepping so that I could have something ready to go in a nice, convenient container. Problem with that is I'd spend a whole Sunday doing it. It was expensive. And frankly, I was eating the same food all the time. So it's easy to figure that after a couple of weeks, I kind of gave up on that. Now, I remember at the time thinking it would be great if I could have food delivered to me. I don't have to lift a finger to make it. And it's prepared by chefs and it's fantastic and so convenient and so delicious and fresh, never frozen. Voila! Factor. Look, I know you love supporting me. That's one of the key things that makes a podcast survive is when you support who's doing the show. I want you to just try this and you are going to be so happy. Go to factormeals.com slash Zane 50. That's Zane 50. And then use code Zane 50 and you're getting this for 50% off. That's how badly I want you to try this. Just so you can see how easy and convenient and awesome factor is. That's code Zane50 at factormeals.com slash Zane50 to get 50% off. Oh, and I'll include the link in the show notes of this podcast. This November, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door, ready in just two minutes. No prep. No mess. You are eating amazing food. You're eating well. It's so fantastic. Again, factormeals.com slash Zane50 and use code Zane50 to get 50% off. That's code Zane50 at factormeals.com slash Zane50 to get 50% off. All right, I got another highlight from the Patreon. I know, I I post these all the time on the free platform here, and it's because I think you'll like it. So if you're listening to this, I hope you enjoy this small little free clip here, highlight of the Ben and Eric Patreon podcast. But if you enjoy it, there's a lot more where that came from. Each of my Ben and Eric Patreon podcast shows Runs about uh, 90 plus minutes, and I do it once a week. It's on top of all of the other shows that I have part of my Patreon. So what I'd like you to do, if you find this to be fun to listen to, is to check out all of what I have on Patreon for free for seven days. Doesn't cost you a dime, and it just takes you a minute. Go to patreon.com, that's P A T. R-E-O-N.com slash Eric Zane and sign up for one week free. You do have to put in a payment form there, but like I said before, you can cancel it at any time and you still get the seven days. And I've had many people say, why do you tell them that you got to trick them into Nah, Fuck that shit. I want you to uh, keep it going on the merit of what you're hearing. That's, that's the point of all of this. So there you go. Try it out for seven days. And by all means, sign up, cancel it one minute later, and then enjoy seven days and then revisit it if you want to get back after it and enjoy it. But if you do like it and you think, hey, I can get behind this, just let it ride. It'll charge you either five or ten bucks a month based on what you want. Patreon.com slash Eric Zane. Now, enjoy this highlight from our latest edition of the Ben and Eric Patreon podcast. Ben, 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 uh, Kevin ben. Kuypers is here. And, um... There was some. Can I? Uh, can I? Can I maybe talk a little bit about uh, the the uh, the big news, Kevin? Yeah, go ahead. Kevin's it's Facebook official. Oh, it is Facebook oh. official. Now you might be thinking that it's like he's got a girlfriend. No. Yeah. Uh, but no, no, no. It's 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 much more oh. amazing. I think I know what this is. I think I saw a picture. Oh yeah. Yeah. What is it? His brothers and his babies, right? Yes, his brother. Did, did yeah. he have triplets? Yes, he had fucking okay. triplets. Wow. Holy shit. Kuypers, I forget. Is it? Is it Kuypers? I ask you this a hundred times a week. Yeah, it's with an S. Okay, Kuypers with an S. Okay. We got to we gotta pull up the pictures. Uh, the only thing I see on there is him attacking service professor. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe I gotta go to my other account in order to my under my. I can. No, I, I can get it I, under my name. I guess he had a bad experience. Oh my god! Here we go. Here we go. Let's get into uh, pictures of um 
Uncle Kevin's nieces, right? There's three girls. And a nephew. And one a nephew. nephew. Okay. Wow. Two girls, one boy. Two girls, one boy. Would it surprise? Oh, yeah, I think... oh sorry. Go ahead, Ben. I was just saying, I think the picture I saw was him with, must be the boy, because he said my little buddy or something like that. Yeah. Okay. yeah I thought that was a girl because I had a pink hat on. Oh, oh okay. Right. I really like that he did it nude. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got a breastfeed, right? Yeah. He just said, fuck it. I'm just going to, I think that that might be a, uh, a technique for new babies so that they What's get, that? they get used to the heat of a person's chest. Oh, I, I, really? I, I'm just going to guess. I don't think he's going to sit there in the NICU and say, Oh God, I better take off my shirt and show everybody my tits. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's called skin to skin. It's a bonding. Thought so. For oh, okay. newborns. It, it, and anytime the child can be touching skin, it's going to help with like uh, the latch. The the latch is a term for like. Is it, is it just me or does it look like the kid's not really on skin? Well, yeah, he's got a hairy chest. There's no <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. I hope he yeah. doesn't. I bet. I hope he doesn't like uh, with that fucking five o'clock shadow. He might actually do damage to that to that little child's face. <laughs> Scratch it up. That is a hell of a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> but I love that. Uh, here he is eating cake. All right. Is that from the gender reveal? Maybe. <laughs> uh, there's more. Then look at Mama. Mama. Oh, wow. oh boy, Mama and the girls. Wow. So this is okay to show. They posted on Facebook, and uh, this is this is day one in the uh, in the incubator. Oh my God! On the day of the birth, they must be on cloud nine. Kevin Kuipers, what are your thoughts as now a, a newly minted uncle of two new nieces and a nephew? Please. I'm all good. I'm I'm happy. We'll be able to see him on Saturday, but he's fucked for the rest of his life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. I didn't want to be. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one. I figured if the everybody's gonna say it, it's gonna be his his brother. Yeah, you know. uh, he has a daughter right now, right? Yes, that's correct. She's about three, four, four, I believe. Oh, he's just fucked. Yeah, without a doubt. Holy cow! Um, you better hope they uh, don't get divorced. Uh, Jacob, we have three girls, and a, uh, it, when it comes to the triplets, two girls and a boy. Uh, overall, they have three girls. Four girls. Uh, four girls. He has. He's got another kid. He has another kid. Yes. From, uh, from another. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yes. Didn't know that. Didn't. And how old is she? Is she, is she like 30? No, she's probably 12 by now. <laughs> okay. We need to take all those tampons we're buying for other people and give them to your brother. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do tampons, do they, do they, uh, Prevent births or do they pre- no, prevent pregnancy? No, because he's got four girls. Oh, okay. I missed that Jeez. joke. No, you're right. I, I, I'm sorry. You zigged and I zagged. That's I never okay. get your I never get your jokes. We've talked. It wasn't about even that. a joke. No, it was. It wasn't. It was I was being well, serious. It was kind of a joke. Yeah, I mean, kind it's a little of, yeah. jokey in nature, but uh, yeah. <sighs> All right. <laughs> wow. Ben, you told me that I needed to have some audio to play. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, to set this up, so you and I have both told numerous stories of us gambling on farts and losing. We've shit our pants. Well, Jim Norton, one of my favorite comedians, um, might have... What what is it that makes you shit? Worse experience than you and I have had. Yeah, he He, uh, okay. He said this is from his Sirius XM show, Jim Norton. Yeah, he uh, he just had a colonoscopy done, and to get ready for it, he was you know drinking chicken broth and that kind of stuff, and then he was had to do enemas, and I think that's where we can pick up the pick up with the audio. Uh, pardon me, but what what is it that make- you can hear that right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. What what is it that makes you shit? Uh, what's the word? 
Not suppository. It's laxative. A laxative. So you take a couple of them. You drink some water. Nothing was really happening. pills? They're tiny. Dissolvables? Tiny pills. You mm. swallow them. And I would... Uh, I always hate that. Don't interrupt the story with your dumb questions. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I would sit on the ball. Nothing would happen. I was like, oh, for Pete's sake, this is not working. But at, at like five o'clock, you have to start taking the prescription stuff, which is you drink like... Eight ounces of water, take four pills. 20 minutes later, eight ounces of water, oh. four pills. 20 minutes later, eight ounces of water, four pills. And you do that, and then I started to, I, I started shitting. Um, and you start shitting, um, and I took a, a nap on my, in the office. I shit my pants. <laughs> oh, no. And I mean... Oh no! I, I didn't. Let me let me correct myself. I didn't only shit my pants. I shit the couch. <laughs> I shit straight through to the sofa. No! I shit through the pants. Through the pants to the sofa. What kind of pants were we wearing? Sweatpants. Gray sweatpants. What? And then you found residual on the sofa. Dude, it was a fucking. Oh no! I, I was asleep. And I dreamt that there was someone behind me. Oh, I know who it was. Yeah. It was the duty monster. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> duty monster. Yeah, it's a terrible joke. Um, but uh Okay. But yeah. So, I don't know if you've ever had it go through where it's like been left on your car seat or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. That did happen one time, but it wasn't okay. when I was preparing for a colonoscopy. It it okay. dates it dates back to the uh, the hockey incident. Oh, the white pants? The white pants. That's going to do it. My free clip from the latest Ben and Eric Patreon podcast. There's a lot more where that came from. Uh, we do that show once a week, as I've indicated, and you can check it out for free for seven days at patreon.com slash Eric Zane. Thanks for checking this out. Till next time. Bye-bye. Eric. Eric.